Hey, we've been getting up at four o'clock. Yeah, half right. the day's going as far as I'm I concerned. know. It. Yeah. So it's almost time to get off. Yeah. What time do y'all go to bed? I go right to bed now. at nine. Yeah, I, I, that's weird. I do too. And he ain't even hunting. <laughs> yeah, and I ain't even hunting. <laughs> take me. The wonder take, part is, take, hey, I get up about ten regularly, so take this morning me I get up early. Thirteen hours. Go to bed at nine o'clock. Yeah. Si so really yeah. is. He's he's reverting to infancy. Yeah. Just sleep all day. Just wake all up. Day. Well, you, wake up. Eat. Change yourself and well, go back to sleep. If I don't have a good one on PBS, no, I'm going to bed. You can tell, That's though, he's gotten a lot of sleep since we last recorded because he's a, like a young, spry well, chicken. Today. Well, I don't know. Hey. Yeah, yeah, you, you can see it. You in. can't look this good unless you get your beauty rest. And they were keeping you up. <laughs> and surgery. they were keeping me up. Yeah, two days ago, you was looking pretty rough. Oh, he wasn't. Hey. I mean, he was just tired. I was feeling pretty rough. Look at him. I'm still feeling pretty rough. Yeah, but you got your color back in right, you. Yeah, but hey. my woman just keeps saying, I said, yeah, I want to just, she said, hey, the doctor's done told you. 45 days, and then you'll feel right. Yeah, but he's going to be down south tail hunting next week. <laughs> and I'm saying, well, I need to feel a little better than I feel right now, you know, like this week. So are you saying you're a bad patient? Yeah, I don't make a good patient. Are you an impatient patient? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what does your bracelet yeah. say? That is <clears throat> What fumes? I can't even pronounce it. Pneumothorax. Yep. yep. Pneumothorax wrist, right side. What does that mean? That means I've had an operation on my right lung. So, and then I've actually got a little wristband in this that I carry. That's kind that, of. That they can scan a code and it'll tell them everything that was done and, you know. Oh, so if if something in case of an emergency, in case okay, in case of an emergency, I just saw it and was like, those are letters that don't normally all go together, and so I needed to know. So if something happens, they won't work on his left lung instead of his right lung. That's right. Yeah, I like it. We've thought of everything. It's just been safe, safe, safety. That's kind of like them things you wear around Martin's your neck when you fall and can't get up. Yeah. He just wears it on his wrist. Life alert. But this ain't got no yeah button on it. <laughs> this is just written. Can you imagine oh, that. Written, this is just written instructions. Can you imagine if I had life alert? All senior citizens should. I mean, he life alert. He he'd push it. Just talk to somebody. What well, no, no, hey, yeah. hey, what's that? Yeah. Hey, okay, boys. <laughs> hey, what? What y'all doing? No, no. What I'm, that's, that's exactly what I say. Is anyone out there? Yeah. Is this thing for real? Uh, I'm just checking. Just checking. Hey, I'm just checking. Guys. Hey, we ought to reach out to them, let you be their next spokesman, because that old lady on there, help, I've fallen and I can't get up. You would do the most entertaining. This isn't a commercial, by the way. No, it's not, but it My could grandmother be. has it. Now look, Does she really? Hey, yeah. is, Did she push is, it when she was getting chased by the cops? No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't believe so. I forgot about that. We need to bring your grandma in and ask her about that wild ride. Oh, no, no, I don't know. Oh, ask her if she was Thelma or Louise. She was, she was She was <laughs> just both. She was yeah. co-pilot. She was that, goose in this ordeal. That she said, me, just keep going. That reminds me about when a guy was saying, hey, look, I knew mama before she was mama. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, was yeah. it daddy? Yeah, I know. No, no, that's why your grandmother is. You ever thought, uh, that's something uh, you hey. ever thought about before you was no. born? Before I was you, born? Hey, because yeah. you don't think about a grandmama. Mm -mm. You know, police chasing a grandmama. <laughs> that's wild. That's wild. And hey. especially when they get spiked. Oh, hey, wait a minute. What I want to know is, what was grandmama like when she was just, you know, a teenager? Yeah. You know, if the cops are chasing her now, <laughs> I'll say this. They've been after her a while. Yeah, they might have been after they, her a long time. Her. My grandmother, you could say, is by the book. So uh, <laughs> I, don't think, I think that might have been. make a movie. That might have been her first you know, run in with the I'm old law. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that'd be the first question. You know, like when they had him shows that people were coming up and they'd ask him questions. That's what the show was about. You know, what were you like as a teenager? Hmm. Since you know they've been chasing you for fifty years, and they finally got you. Yeah, and they finally caught you at the age of seventy-seven. <laughs> <laughs> She's like eighty-four. Well, she kind of got 84. slow. Yeah. What she else? Made it eighty-four. Maybe 84. we are. Maybe we ought to go back in your life and film this and make a movie out of it. 
Hey, She'd have an interesting movie. Grandmama don't play. <laughs> <laughs> she will cut you. <laughs> She'll cut you. Or she was over there in Germany with you. What grandmama was? Uh huh. She. Right. My dad was born in Frankfurt uh, on a military base. Right. There you go. In Germany. Well, and then I... my granddaddy went to Vietnam. Okay. He worked in the hospital though. He was the like head. Dietitian in the hospital. I was just saying, say, was she in? So the, he would uh, have been a character on Mash. <clears throat> yeah, I ain't seen Mash, but sure. What's the what's you the ain't, what? Ain't, what's the bad motorcycle Mash. gang? What? Huh? What's the bad motorcycle gang? I don't know. When he said Vietnam, I was going to ask if Grandmama was in that motorcycle <laughs> gang because <laughs> the that, ones that stole your yeah. tires no, while no, you were driving. No, no. The no. ones that hey, look, I can't think of the name. I, I can't believe it. Hell's Angels. Yeah. Hell's Angels, they, they actually volunteered. If they the government would ship them over to Vietnam, they'd go fight if they shipped their choppers over. They was going to fight on a motorcycle? On a motorcycle, bom, yeah. Bom, bom. yeah. They wasn't going to be able to sneak up on nobody. Well, no, no. They just said, hey, the only stipulation is you got to ship our you know, motorbikes over. You know, we'll go over and fight. I hadn't heard that one. Man. Give us the weapons and ship our bikes. Yeah, it was a weapon and super bike. Hey, I can see them in Harley Davidson's going oh. down through the jungle. <laughs> Looking like Rambo yeah. on a Harley, wah, wah, baby. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get you some of this. Get yeah. you some of this. <laughs> they wouldn't have stole their back tire while he's moving. Nah, no, they, they wouldn't, wouldn't have got hey. that. And, yeah, they wouldn't have done that. Not like on your deuce and a half. That is a great story. <laughs> Did it really happen? No. Huh. That. And the other one about the, the deuce and a half engine being toted in a metal container swim across a pond. 100% true. Okay, and, and there was no flotation device on it. <laughs> okay, and there was only two Vietnamese, one on each side. And how deep was the pond? Uh, and, and look, I had been dropping shot up vehicles, we'd strip them down, and all would be left is the frame. And I pick it up with a rough, rough train forklift and go drop it in the pond. I've been doing that for six months, so it's deep. Okay, and look. You just built them a tower up, so. Uh, yeah. Well, no, no, because. That's the, how they walked across there on the beach. No, no. Well, I gave the report that I had to sign my John Hancock to. That well, is the officer of the guard. In the US That's in the archive. archive. No, no. I'm in like Library of Congress. No, no, because no, he, said, he said, he said, I'd uh, like to read the first hand account. He says, Mr. Yeah. Robson, you do know you're going to have to sign your name to this report you just wrote. <laughs> he was after a section eight. Yes, yeah, and I he said, hey, after. no, I said, hey, I understand that. And then he said, well, after all this, sign it. Okay. He said, now I want to ask you, in your humble opinion, how did they pull it off? Since you've done told the story, sign your name to it. That, that's it, and you're sticking to it. I said, well, well, I figured it had to be about 39 of them. 39? Yeah, because it was deep. I said, the guy on the bottom had the best, worst job. <laughs> I said, because he got 38 people on top of his shoulder. He's like that ant, don't, yeah. that one ant yeah. on the yeah. bottom of the floor. On the bottom yeah. of the pile. Yeah, that's a bad deal. And I said, hey, and he's got that 2,000 engine on his shoulders, boys going across the mountain. <laughs> Thirty-eight people. <laughs> and then he threw me. Then he threw me out of his office. Get out of here. Okay. I, I wonder said, why. I said, "With pleasure, sir." With pleasure. With pleasure. <laughs> it's almost like that story is unbelievable. Mm. Hey, I believe it. No, no. And here's the best part. Yeah, I told Phil. I said, "He said, what? Wait a minute. You said something about something. Has you something? Has, has your something in your fatigue pockets?" I said, "Yeah." I always had a, a fit of whiskey in my fatigue pocket. He said, now these stories are beginning to make sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't mind him. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what I said, what are you trying to say, Phil, that this is an alcohol-related instance? Hey, you've said yourself eyewitnesses are unreliable. Well, hey, I'm telling right. you, I'm just saying what cops say. <laughs> and then we've proved that when we brought Miss Christine on the podcast. Yeah, I know. She I showed would just how side. unreliable you are. Yeah, <laughs> I could. I tell my side of the story, and then she'd say, "Nope, nope." Here Taco. comes Paul Harvey. Cause here's the rest of the story. Yeah, Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey. Yeah. Taco. Good day. Yeah. That was tacos. That was my favorite line of the whole thing. Taco. <laughs> yeah. 
That's oh, oh think of hey, she's in that Taco Bell has got the coolest thing when they ring the bell. Whatever the person's doing, they're out of here, boy. Also not an ad, but hey, well, it is I'm a just funny saying, commercial. It is a cool commercial. Because oh. the guy's playing, uh, what, hockey? Not hockey. Uh, football. No, not football. Well, no. that's close. Uh, you kick the ball under a net. Soccer? Soccer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just he just kicked the ball, and the the guard is oh, supposed yeah. to done them back the play. The guy made a bad kick because it hit the top of it and bounced out. And it goes well, boom. Yeah, and as soon as it done it, it the bell rings, and it shows him. You know, everybody's trying to high-five him. No, he's going to Taco Bell. Because he, he heard He ain't got time for that, boys. Dinner bell, yeah. When was the last time you ate Taco Bell? Oh, that's been quite a while. It's probably that's why you sp- took four days to have that movement. Yeah, you they could have fixed that real quick. <laughs> Almost before you get out to drive through. Oh, good. we had tacos last night. <laughs> was it well, it was Tuesday. Was it any good? Taco Tuesday. Oh, Hannah, see something, boy. Well, hey, tacos are in. Rattling them pots and pans. With your with your uh, diabetes, drop tacos are in. Yeah. They must be you ate them. Okay. All right. I was just checking. Well, I had the soft tacos. I like the soft. Oh, you didn't have to crack the shells? No. Oh, no. You got to have the shells. No. Have you had the shells made out of Doritos? Now, that would be awesome, but I ain't no. had them. No. I know a place. That would be good. Oh. Look, everything. Wrong bell. What if you just Wrong get up bell. and walk out? <laughs> See, it's just like the commercial. Hey, no. <laughs> hey, uh, we're going to take a break. If he comes back with two burritos, he better have four. That's all I've said. That's all he's got to say. Let's let Johnny D take a taco he bell better break. better double order, boys. Yeah, we'll be back right after this, after we're Johnny take D has break. lunch. Martin. What? You know what it is, man. It is my favorite time of the year. What, when it's winter in the mornings and summer in the evenings? They, well, they call it the fall here. We yeah. get like a week of it. Yeah. But I love it. Well, the problem with fall is it's absolute chaos in your pants. You're overheating one second and what? freezing the next. To be ready for anything, you need underwear that can handle everything. It's time for you to try Tommy John underwear. That makes a lot of sense. In Tommy John underwear, you're that much more comfortable so you can do everything better. I've been shooting lights out this TLC. And you know why? Tommy John. Tommy John. Got to. That's the only thing that's changed. Comfortable. Yeah. I mean, you're not binded. You're not constricted. And them little boogers are fast. So... Name a problem with other underwear, and Tommy John has solved it. Tommy John's breathable, lightweight fabric has four times the stretch of competing brands. They come up with a no-wedgie guarantee thanks to a non-rolling waistband and legs that never ride up. Plus, they feature a horizontal quick-draw fly. It's very important during till season. Got to be fast. That's just part of it. Hammock pouch support stops the awkward swing and slap. There you go. I mean, Yeah. So that's they, something we should all be grateful for. I, I agree. I could not agree more. With over 17 million pairs sold, people love Tommy John underwear. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. What do they have, Sai? They got fanatics, baby. That's right. Plus, everything's back with Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free guarantee. We all love them, and so will you. Go to TommyJohn.com slash duck right now for 20% off your first order. Tom, 20% off at TommyJohn.com slash duck. TommyJohn.com slash duck. See sight. And it's for like details. you have nothing on. We almost got kicked out of Waffle House last night, by the way. Uh-oh. I saw y'all back here. My wow. children. Too you late. like that guy. Too late, Kicked boy. Out. They were just loud. Your kids? Yeah. That was like... your wild son. What was they so loud for? I did. Well, you know, raising children in this time of age when all restaurants and public places shut down for like a year, when you take them back, they're not ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, cool, man. <laughs> you got to retrain them. <laughs> yeah. You mean your kids ain't ready for it? Uh, well, they're getting there. But last night I was like, gang, like, what are we doing? I was, forgot about I was eating inside waffles voices. and just playing defense and pushing people. And like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. It was a wild time. A wild time. It was, right. That was one of the wilder Waffle House experiences I had. Was it the daughter? Uh-huh. She's crazy, man. The youngest one. <laughs> They're scary. That's what you got to look forward to there. The Mine's the same age. The woman's well, the same age. Our other two were across from me, and they weren't much better. I was like, gang, we're not going to be invited back to Waffle House on Waffle House Tuesday nights. And they were like, why? I said, because you're crazy. <laughs> you're not using your inside voices. Then we, we get You're a- crazy, and it's not dark yet. We, they know how to deal with this once it gets dark. Yeah. <laughs> this is the evening shift. They're, yeah. they're for the right, families. Yeah. I don't know about this. Well, then we get up to leave, and Lottie goes, why is Ben's not wearing shoes? And I was like, another great question. I was like, 
are we really the people that just came to Waffle House for dinner and you're not wearing shoes? Next question, where are your shoes? Are yeah. they here? Or? They were there. We yeah. found them. They were They're just, behind the counter. Yeah, they were, they were over by the uh, breakfast kibachi. <laughs> now, he just took them off in the booth, I guess. It was a wild ride. Mm-hmm. I highly suggest taking three kids under eight by yourself to Waffle House sometime and just trying to eat. It's mm-hmm. interesting. No, well, we're going to stop at two. Yeah, no. Oh. You can have yeah. another set of twins on action. Yeah, boy, wouldn't that be fun? That would be terrifying. <laughs> Multiple twins? Multiple How? twins. How? What? Are you all tangled we, up? Yeah, you're yeah, all tangled my, up. My cord was up under my chair. Every time I'd move, it choked me. Martin, what is the update on fatherhood? It's coming soon, huh? Yeah, at some point, I asked her the other day, so what are we going to do when they send us home with them things? I was like, I, I ain't ready for that. But, <laughs> so what, what are we, a month out? <laughs> Tops? tops i would say yeah but it could it be any day yeah i mean that's why my phone's sitting on the desk right here oh. like it's not i mean if i gotta leave i just it's gotta down leave. to the second here's the problem the other day we went both of them they done one the whole time one's been head down the other one's been breached the other day we went both them heads pointing down they ready Uh-oh. so we had a little pep talk after that they they getting they getting in okay. line, boys. Here we yeah, go. They getting ready, and yeah. I'm like, hey, hey, look, I need y'all to just calm down. Stay in there. Look, for just look. trust me, right. it's better in there than it is out here. That I know it doesn't seem like yeah. it. That's been true for ages. But, but trust me, it is better in there than it is out here. So if y'all mm-hmm. just that's right, y'all don't just bide some time. Uh, don't rush it. Yeah, just you I told know. them not to spell part backwards, didn't you? Do what? Don't spell part backwards. It's a trap. <laughs> Oh, part. I thought you said park. I was like, crap? I, I didn't <laughs> crap with a K? I didn't know where we were going. It's a trap. Oh. It's a trap. Um, a God, trap. when I got one for you, how do you fix a jack-o'-lantern? How do you fix a jack-o'-lantern? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. With a pumpkin patch. That's what <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to what do you call? What do you call two shotguns as best friends? Uh, I don't know. Double pals. Pals. Huh? Pals. Pals. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying pal? Pow. 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 Boom, 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 boom. Pow. Wham. Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> now we're just going to start. You got any up. more? Uh, I got a, I had a DeLorean one time, but I just drove it from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Did I tell y'all that we had a time traveler come in the honey hole the other day? Really? 100% of the time. He's been in there twice? Did he have No, a th- he was from either the past or the future. I think the past, but maybe the future. It was wild. Have I not told this story? No. No. Not to me. So I'm sitting there at the de- counter, and all of a sudden this dude with the, all this white hair comes in. You, and so you see where I'm getting at. He Easy looks just on like the that. white hair. No, but it's crazy. and It's all up in there. And he comes in, and he says, sir. And I said, Yes. May I use your phone? And I was like, okay. And so I handed him the phone. And he gets on the phone. Nobody answers. He put the phone down. He goes, sir, can I ask you a question? And I was like, sure. He goes, before this establishment was the Honey Hole Tackle Shop, was it a 7-Eleven? And I was like, actually, yes. And he goes, and in 1987, before it was a 7-Eleven, was it a Cracker Barrel? And I was like, I, what does this mean? Apparently, Cracker Barrel is an old gas, gas station. station. And yeah. my dad looks over and goes, yeah. He goes, and in 1991, it became the honey hole. And my dad goes, yeah. Walks out, runs. What? For real? Yeah. I think he, he didn't go back far enough. Like, he was trying to get back between sometime in 87 and 91. But he showed up in 2022 and, and didn't know what to do. Well, the problem is, that's a 31-year gap that what? he don't even know where he's at. I don't know how time is And hey, He didn't realize it. The phone was out of service. You yeah. He, have, why didn't you follow him? I got him on camera. <laughs> Out of all the things you've done in your life, you didn't follow. Yeah, this you guy? blew it. I didn't. I didn't you know what. It. I didn't want to end up with. Yeah. Dinosaurs. What if you could have went with him? Yeah, I didn't want I to. Why not? I like this place. But in you this can time. come back. Yeah, he proved. Could we? He proved. Well, it. he made it he here. Did. Yeah. This Last gate's day. at least open. That's true. You got to look for that circle thing. Hey, welcome to the paranormal. He straight up said, and in 1987, did it become a Cracker Barrel from a Cracker Barrel to a 7-Eleven? And I was like, what is happening? I don't know. I was born in 89. He goes, thank you, and ran out. And I was Which like, way did he go? left. Left. Um, oh, he's going to get him a po' boy. Maybe. Um, yeah, he was going to check on Dylan's. <laughs> yeah. See if it was still Dylan's. Oh, yeah. He probably ran in he's there. He's going to be upset. Said, Before this, this was Vanna's, was this Dylan's? Yeah. <laughs> Do you still have the triple yeah. big boy burger? 
But yeah, it was before I, it was Dylan's. Was it uh, A and W? I didn't know about that. I only knew about Dylan's. Hey, that's it. See, I didn't know about the Cracker Barrel or the Seven Eleven. I knew it was a Seven Eleven. Hey, I've been here a while. I just turned sixty. See. Hey. Well, that history. guy, I don't know how long he's been here. The history of the honey hole. But I'm pretty sure he was trying to go to a right point in time and missed it and ended up talking to me instead. Yeah. Hmm. I've seen them same people on live PD. <laughs> he should have got him some fishing stuff before he left. He didn't. He was he was in a oh, hurry. That may be what he's looking for. Maybe he's looking for a hula popper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's lucky 13. Yeah, yeah, maybe he's trying to wrong go back. bait. Yeah, get some of them vintage baits, some wiggle warts, some OG mm, wiggle warts. Purple fire tail worms or something. Yeah. We still got those. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They've been there a while. Got <laughs> dust on <laughs> Only a little. But anyway, yeah, so that was my experience with the time trial. I hope he made it to where he was trying to get, whether it be the 7 Eleven, the Cracker Barrel, or just to talk to Bobby Phillips in 1992. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll hear from him in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, That's I, why we need that sound effect over there that Hunter yeah. got control of. Yeah. That was a good one. Maybe we'll hear from him in the future. <laughs> we need the Duck Dynasty sound effect back. Just uh, the banjo. There it is. Hey. Hey, look, what'd I tell you? <laughs> ah, I like it. Wake up, Hunter. I know it's 10 o'clock, but you're fine. No, um, that was a good one. Maybe we'll hear from, <laughs> from him in the future. future. What if he does drop an email? Oh. It, it, sir, if you're listening, and I don't know what year you'd be listening. That's right. Yeah. Well, Please then, come it'd back. It'd have to be within two. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that's all we've been doing this. Well, he's, so. he's, he's going uh, But if he's forward. in the future, he could go back to YouTube and find, oh, yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. But it'll stay at the top of the inbox because it's going to have to be the newest one. Or if he just downloads this one and goes back to the past. That's and he's I'm listened on. to it in the 70s. And that helps him figure out what time he was here. Yeah. Bet on the New Orleans Saints in 2009, sir. <laughs> if you're listening <laughs> and you're back in the past. Bet on the Vikings. And, never mind. I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry, Whoa. Johnny. Whoa. I'm sorry. going back to Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, he's I'm going sorry. back to Taco Bell. Please. I'm sorry. Thanks uh, for not telling them the year. Actually, yeah. they've never won anything. So. No, but they did win that one. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding with Jameis Winston now, people. All right. Mm. Who dat? Keep your legs inside the vehicle at all times. That's <laughs> He's all a I'm wild, goofy ride, boys. Ah, <laughs> uh, Well, let's take another break. We'll, we'll get back right after this. You know, when I started going bald, heck, I didn't know what to do. There wasn't nothing around for it. But now, there's a solution. You don't have to choose between better hair growth and whole body health. Yeah, there if you're you 17 like Martin and starting to go bald already. It was quick. Get but, your parents because you might have to but, be 18 to buy. Yeah, but this wasn't here 20 years ago. So now it's here. Now you know better. You no longer have to choose between better hair growth and your health. There's a holistic solution for men that promotes both healthier hair and whole body wellness. Get ahead of thinning hair with Nutrafol's whole body approach to hair growth. No drugs, no compromises. I don't think you need any, but me and Goblin, we are uh, we're running out, boys. Yeah, we we might need some. I love crazy hair. Well, hey, I then, wake up in the morning. Then you ought to do it. Then Nutrafol is trusted and recommended by more than three thousand top doctors, and is physician formulated using natural medical grade ingredients. Nutrafol's hair growth nutraceuticals go beyond genetics to multi-target the root cause of thinning hair, including stress, hormones, nutrition, metabolism, aging and lifestyle through whole body health. The Nutrafol is drug-free. Its patented technology provides reliable results without compromising your sexual health. In a clinical study, men showed progressive improvement in hair growth and thickness after three and six months. So it doesn't take long to start seeing the results. You, oh, no. yeah. You'll know pretty quick if it's working for you, and it should work for you. It works for everybody. So Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement. It's clinically proven to improve hair growth, thickness, and visible scalp coverage. They even have a hair wellness quiz for personalized product recommendations that are unique to your hair's needs. So there you go. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com slash men and entering promo code DUCK to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com slash men. Spelled N U T R A F O L dot com slash men. Promo code Duck. I know that we don't talk about government things very often, but I, I read one that is 
the dumbest thing that I think I've ever seen a Secretary of Agriculture do for the United States. Ooh, are we going there? Let me just tell you what this person, I'm, I'm going to be as kind as I can be. Do it. So, duck season's open in Canada, right? Correct. We can go hunt in Canada now. Are you allowed to cross the border yet, or have we still got stupid rules? No, you can still do that, but you can't bring the ducks back with you for fear of spreading avian flu. Oh, <laughs> oh no. So Does that- somebody need to tell this hammer what these ducks are about to do? They are about to pack their bags from Canada and fly to the United States. Not if they build a wall. <laughs> I mean, how stupid can you be? I mean, got to be one of the dumbest. And I had to look and make sure it wasn't Joe saying it. Because it was that asinine. I was like, are you, what? Wait, no. so we can't. You can't bring you, them. You can't go shoot ducks and bring them back. But they're going to fly. And if they got it, they got it. But if you bring it back with you, that's terrible. So you can't, well. To so, stop the spread of avian influenza on ducks that migrate. Well, the avian flu only, uh, it can't travel by ground. Yeah, I guess whenever you, <laughs> I guess when you go through the air, it cleanses you. Heaven forbid the meat is in a cooler and, and you've harvested it and like, you're, you're I didn't ready know to that eat they it. they said that. That's funny. It's it's, uh, that's like so a, stupid. This, like is, a, this is a wildlife alert. That's so stupid. Okay, yeah. for the wildlife people that enforce the law, this is your day. It's Go so to Canada and get them all. Yeah. Yeah. It's so stupid. But you got to keep them there. But leave them there. That you can't do nothing like with them. Wanton waste is the one you charge them with. Martin, you know what that sounds like? A, a decision that was made by a person who's only worn a suit their whole life and never been outside. He's never seen. All you've got to do is look. Yeah, I don't even care if you hunt. Hey. You're like, man, we ain't had no ducks here in a while. Oh, my gosh, they're ducks. Where'd they come from? He don't know they what They didn't sprout. Is. He don't know what it is. It's, it, I mean, I read that and I said, no. That's kind of what no. I was thinking of all them during all that COVID stuff, all them plexiglass walls they'd have. Uh-huh. The COVID's a real polite disease. It don't go over the top or around the side. Or underneath. Or through, no, or just, through paper masks. Yeah. 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 But I, I just couldn't, I could not, I mean, I read that and I just, the basic understanding of birds migrating Somehow yeah. missed this guy. Well, they, they're in good shape. They won't have it. I mean, do they have to stop at the border and get a permit or something? Like, are they? Well, they check everybody. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I oh, mean, I like, can see that they, they got, got a tow. The mallard, the mallards get in a line right there and, oh, yeah. and they get gotta, their get their butt swabbed with they, a cute. They got to yeah, yeah, shove it right up that beak, and it's no, no, eight look, foot long, no, and it tickles no. their brain. I mean, they got a tow. They got to go through one at a time. Yeah. I mean, it's the dumbest thing I've ever read. Click, There's right. actually a Click. stopping point in North Dakota. And to know that this, To wait for the rest of your family. But the problem to is that. to know that this guy is making other decisions on our behalf. <laughs> Forget the ducks. This guy is the Secretary of Agriculture. Are you kidding me? I'm looking. How can you be so dumb? Martin's calling you out, sir. I, I am. I'm calling you an idiot. Oh! I mean, 100%. Uh-oh. You were trying to be nice earlier, and Martin said. But it's just stupid. Gloves off. <laughs> I mean, it's just the dumbest thing I've ever read. I shot blue wing teal this morning that probably some of them started in Canada. And, I, I mean, what if one of them had the flu? I don't know. I can tell you what he ain't got anymore. Feathers. I mean, he's, he's in the pot. Like, I just don't understand the difference of a bird shot in Canada and one shot in North Dakota. Why that's a big, like, all of a sudden, I don't, I mean, do they have, I, don't, I just don't right. understand. Open your beak. We want to check your temperature. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Before you cross over. I do not understand. Uh, he only, uh, okay, I'm not, I'll tell I you what it is. Man. What, did he rescind it finally? Asin no. Oh. I was just looking up how much the Secretary of Agriculture makes to make Oh, it's too it's much. much. It's a bunch. It's too much. Yeah, it's a bunch. It's a bunch of money. Yeah. Is that more than a duck call builder? Oh, uh, yes. Mm. <laughs> well, don't get the flu. I'm not. Godwin, quit building duck calls. You may give somebody the avian flu. Uh Uh-oh. We can't sell them. He was that before, though. I don't care. He got kicked out, and then he came back. I'll let you guess what happened. Oh. (laughs) Oh. That other guy got rid of him? The other guy got rid of him. Yeah. So so this is his second stint. 
Yeah, this is number two. So in eight years, he's still just as dumb as he was back then. <laughs> he didn't right. figure out make, about it all migration. Makes sense now. I, we yeah, should I, tell him about I the try great... to stay out of politics, but when I read something that stupid, I mean, that's not really politics. It's just like, Mm-mm. I just don't understand. Do you think he would come on our show? Oh, no. He better not. Here's your sign. I'm about out of coffee. Uh, He's about out of coffee, boys. Well, I hope it didn't come from Canada. No. I mean, I I just. Well, as long as it. it, Heaven forbid, what are these things going to do when they get to Mexico? uh, Like, does he not understand they just keep going? Like, just. How far south do they go? As far as they want to. (laughs) I mean. Like all the way to Venezuela? Some of them do. Yeah. Hey, you just. uh, Hey, I didn't know ducks were bilingual. They are. They can speak Canadian. They can speak it all. <laughs> that's why hey. we have 75 different mallard cars. And that's why you sound like a French woman on a dog. Well, hey, there you go, boys. Hey. Wow. French must not be their best language, though. Well, hey, it wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> he, he lived in Germany, hey, not France. I was in Germany, too. Yeah, I did. Wasn't, nope. nope. That ain't mine, either. Uh, did you learn hey. any German? Uh, a little bit. Can but you, I just can you no. do you remember language, any of it? Language is you know that's like playing a guitar. It's a it's a God given gift. Okay, <laughs> to talk. Yeah, bilingual and all that. No, yeah, I, I have enough trouble with just English, boy. <laughs> and you, you know, much less you know. And some people speak like 10, 12, 15 languages. That's crazy. That is wild. No, no, it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Did you take English in school? Uh about of course. Did you take Spanish? I didn't learn much. Yes, I did. I've seen you. See, I've seen you speak Spanish. That's right. In South Texas, on our Duck Dynasty rerun, they had you somebody. Over. Somebody <laughs> sent an email in the what other day that said, "Have y'all ever watched the Spanish version of Duck Dynasty?" Absolutely, I have. And I got to find this guy. They said name. that version is better than I, the the English version. Well, it's got to be. Joseph, well, I'm, saying, I'm just saying that. I've been I wonder, told that. I, I Joseph, if we're really six. saying <laughs> what we're really saying. We'll never know. I don't know, but whatever hey is in Spanish, I bet that guy's tired of saying that. Look, hey, th- Joseph hey, sent me the email hey, with, with the YouTube link, and I just sat there and I giggled and I giggled. And I giggle. It was so funny. Can, can For the people that don't, and I don't know how much of this that we can run, but can we pull up like 20 seconds of sigh in Spanish? Uh, of course I can. Absolutely. Of course you can. Now, now, uh, I now I understand why it is better. In, in, in hey, I'll say whoever that is captured your character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great job, sir. Because uh, when it would cut to him, it was a very noticeable different man speaking it Spanish. Was, he had a little bit of a crazy twang to him. Yeah, uh, that was good. I don't know what he was saying, but I loved it. Uh, he was saying, hey. I know, was I saying. know where that started. I heard Phil say pato, so that's duck. That's all I got. I don't know what they were talking yeah. about ducks, but they were talking about I was about laughing ducks. too hard. It's just the, the dialect of it. Oh, man. You're an international superstar, <laughs> sir. International. Hey. Sai speaks. Worldwide. Sai gets dubbed over in Spanish. Uh, now, is Goblin in that episode? Oh, he's got to be. <laughs> I know what I'm doing for the rest I of the I just episode. need to know. <laughs> Where? Oh, there he is. There he is. Hold on. Okay. Wait, I'm, is I'm, this I'm, a. What is. It? I hope it's ham sandwich. You know what's funny? What? I did not plan this, people. This is the episode I was on. Is it really? Uh huh. Oh. So Goblin eats a donut. Okay. What I eat more than one, no, probably. Uh oh. Look, that's all three of us. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was stuck. <laughs> that's me. ¿Por qué estamos aquí mientras Will está jugando golf? Y tu barba es lo único que dice que puedes trabajar con nosotros. This is when they make fun of me, so I'm changing it. Anyways. But you don't know what we're saying, neither do yeah. I. Oh. That was not Goblin. That was me and Goblin talking. I know, but that was not Goblin. Who knows they when missed the that started. Oh, that's so funny. I know one thing. The guys that done this had a blast doing this. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
He <laughs> did. <laughs> Joseph, thanks for that email. That's wonderful. I'm glad we got to. I don't know. I don't know how much of that was just aired, or we could even show. But it, uh, we laughed a little for a long time. Oh, uh, t- I've seen. I mean, not that episode, but I've seen it before, and I got so tickled. I got to look it up and see what's going on. I'll send it to you, sir. All right. <clears throat> oh you. man, that's good stuff. Well, with that, <laughs> vamanos. Vamanos. I don't uh, really know. I, vamanos, amigos. I don't know enough Spanish. Why you can do I think that means hurry up. Oh, does it? Well, adios. Yeah, there you go. That means we'll be back, right? That means turn it up. What's up? That means uh-huh. goodbye. Adios. <laughs> adios, vaya con Dios. Adios may you, and may vaya you go con Goodbye, Dios. may you go with God. Really? Yeah. That's Zach Brown. Yeah, that's all I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's take a break. I think we ought to start, all start learning Spanish. Let's all start Rosetta Stone together. Rosetta I'm out. Stone. We could do a whole podcast in Spanish. I couldn't. Why not? I can't speak Spanish. But you can. If we, if we start, start learning, doing it after hours. We got to start learning. I took Spanish and I took Italian. I, I took, don't speak either of them. I took Latin. All you had to do was translate that. But you can't even talk to people. That's what I'm talking about. Nobody even talks that. I yeah. speak, I'd I, rather learn. Nobody even speaks that. Uh, I speak a little Italian. I'd rather speak Celtic. Wait, time out. You, you do what? You speak I, I Italian? I speak a little Italian. Well, say something. You speak with your hands. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah. The only Italian I know is uh, pepperoni pizza. Give me a pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza. Yay, Italian. Yay, yeah. Italian. Hey. So you want to ask me... Who makes the best meatballs in the world? Ooh, I had some good ones last night. <laughs> I thought Uh-oh. you had tacos last night. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the night before last night. Okay. What yeah, in the what world? I told her. You had, like, spaghetti and tacos? No, not spaghetti. Oh. I don't know what it was. It what? was, uh, but it was like... Uh, a meatball taco? No, the meatballs was in a marinara sauce. Yeah. In a bowl she had. And then she had something else. She had tomatoes. And slices of green stuff. It was a circle thing. I don't know what it was. And a, a yellow one. Like a caprese or something? Like I don't know what that is. What, bell pepper? It wasn't bell pepper. Since you're saying green. It was like a Turkey squash, green, you know, round squash she'd uh-huh. cut up. And she had them all in a row. And had them in some kind of salt. It was good. Who done this? I don't know if it was... Um, Zucchinis. It was zucchinis. We found it. That's what it was. And the yellow ones, I think, was squash. And she had them sliced and in a pretty little roll around the bowl. Boy, she been cooking up a storm. I said, good grief, we went from France to Mexico in two days. <laughs> Who's cooking this? Wait, France? What, 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 what did you eat that was French? I tell you. That's what she said. <laughs> that could be considered French. Meatballs? No, she called it something. French Caprizi? It was a long, long word. I don't know what it was. I don't remember. Them long words, I don't, that's too much, too yeah, many, too many letters. It was good to eat. It was good to eat. So you put the meatballs on that stuff? And I ate? made the meatballs. You made the meatballs? Well, I made, I made them around deer meat. And she dressed them up? Didn't she Who was this, Miss Paula? Johanna. Oh, Johanna. Yep, she been cooking. I don't know what we had. She got the whole week planned out. Look at you. You got a personal chef. That's you got a personal say, chef. Right? That's yeah. exactly right. Making dad eat good. She back on that payroll, ain't she? She ain't never really got off the payroll. <laughs> <laughs> you, try, you try to get them off, but that ain't true. No. 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 Okay. You always, you always there to help. Uh well, Johnny D double dipping on that payroll now, the real one in. <laughs> and and I, I'm supposed to always be there to help. I was like, Dad, I need help with something the other day. So yeah. You bring your trailer and help me push this. There you go. Couldn't do it on my own. That's hmm. good. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Well, yeah, you I, got a double dip. As oh, she cooked salmon last week one day. She had a big old slab of it. Do you like salmon? Yeah, the way she done it was good. I haven't found a way I like salmon yet. I'm I'm the same way with you. My wife loves it. I mean, I'll eat it, but it's not. We went to Alaska and uh, got a salmon bait. Now, that was, I mean, they just caught it out of the creek there. And he had a 
big old long, about long, longer than this table, about this wide. And he had, and on the top was like metal round stop. And he had like a flat basket like stuff where he could lay them fillets in there and close it. And he rolled it back and forth over that fire. Then he'd flip it. He's talking about good, son. It was awesome. Huh. Awesome. It ain't like what you eat here. You catch it right out of the river and then well, cook it. Fresh I, can believe, I can believe that. It was pretty awesome. It's like it was, having fresh garballs. You ain't lying. <laughs> mm. Martin, do you not like garballs? I mean, I'm not opposed to them. I've had them. You I don't just, like crab cake? Yeah, I mean, that's... Same it, thing. That's the deal with gar. Like, everybody, oh, they're so good. But it's same. you just put a lot of distractions around it. Like, I yeah. like stuff you don't have to surround well, with distractions. Yeah, because of the such a strong fishy taste. That, and I think it's the only way to keep it moist and keep it from yeah. turning like yeah. a cotton ball like yeah. some of them fish yeah. You get. can't like, eat it cold, though. But, I mean, gar balls in a gravy, yeah. I mean, who doesn't... I mean, yeah. <laughs> Put it over rice and let's bump. I mean, it's good. Like it's <laughs> don't fine. eat cold though. Nope. Yeah, like chewing gum. Look, nope. I said nope. Nope. My nope. friend that uh, walks to the honey hole every day, the gar commander, as I call him, he's about twelve. Is he cleaning them? Oh, he's making gar balls. That he's yeah. told me how good they are. I'm like, no, they're not. He bring you one? No, I told him he's not allowed to. Uh, <laughs> but then his dad showed up yesterday. He was like, oh, you got to have. He's not one. lying. They're I good. like them. Yeah. And I was like, am I wrong about this? Hey, you got to have a no thank you portion. I've done that recently, Godwin, and everybody made fun of me on the internet. So you weren't here. But Johnny D took a. I should I not have done the jalapeno. I, I hesitate to call it a bite of a Vienna sausage. Ugh, can't do it, man. But it never made it past his tongue. Vienna sausage is good. I can have him. Can you? Yeah. Do you have a flavor you like? I like the barbecue one, the plain one. Where did my box go? It gone. Uh oh. They took my boy. Why would someone steal that? Oh, no, no, you still got it. What you got in there? He got a whole My case of mayonnaise. I got barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> Look, I got to I got to eat a snack because of my sugar. What's up, boys? I oh, he's it. about to dope pop one, Johnny. Uh, D, watch it. Up? I mean, I'm fine watching you other. Don't like it. Other people. No, those are gross. Look at that. Look at that. Gross. Those do not taste good. Oh, look at that. Let me see. Let me see. I love. Well, this I don't thing. know. Let me see this. Oh, he's got. Oh. He's going back for yeah, more. Hey, he said no. Nope, that first one didn't. I'm do just it. saying. Have y'all not had beef jerky? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Got one's in on him. Ain't that bad. I, ain't that bad, I boy. Hey, this is a duck hunting treat that can't be beat. That's a duck hunting treat that can't he's be beat. He's going back in. <laughs> oh, I'm going to eat the whole can. Oh, he's got, yeah. He's fixing to finish this off. I have a snack. This is a morning oh, yeah. show. This is called Breakfast, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to get me to eat them who didn't want them, and we had a man here the whole time that just would eat all of them. Oh, me. I will, too. I'm not scared of them. I'm not scared See, the of good them. Thing, I just hey, don't I'll, like them. I'll tell you about it. the good thing about that. They don't have the gel on it. That the normal ones do. I know. Ooh, that's so good. Well, no, no. Because cause of the, the barbecue sauce that's on it. Okay, they don't have the gel. <laughs> <laughs> we've, 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 we've digressed here. Oh, uh, no, we have hey. Praise God for that. He's making weird videos over there <sighs> of him eating by a sausage. I got it all over me. <laughs> and, he, and he's enjoying it so. Hey. Do you need a napkin? No, yeah, I'm posting do. that to Instagram, but I'm also saving it. That was <laughs> yeah, hey. I mean, he said, uh, oh, 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 boy, now we got a mess. Oh, oh Lord, the goody out. Yeah, and it, I got shrapnel. Oh, oh shrapnel, boy. That sticks with you. You're My gonna dog's going to love it when oh, I Oh, yeah, home. when you get home. She go, <laughs> here he comes, boys. Mm. How many you got left there, Hammer? One. One? Well, let's take a break. That way you can wash your mouth out before we that's get it. in that fan that's segment. We'll be back Woo. right after this. He says, and that's hot barbecue sauce. Well, look, we're back. And we're back. Hello at duckcallroom.com is From the inbox. Did we go somewhere? Yeah. Well, you had to go wash your mouth out. Oh. With coffee. And wash your hands. Well, My then, dad drinks another can. Room temperature coffee and it grows the smell. 
Anyway, you want to do some emails? Yeah, let's do it. What's in there? All right, Jason emails in. By the way, it's hello at duckcallroom.com or message Martin on Instagram, message duckcallroom on Instagram. Hey, message Godwin on Instagram. Message me on Instagram. Message Sal on Instagram. It's Philip. All right, so Jason uh, emails in. First of all, love the show and everything you guys stand for. He's an avid outdoorsman. I am too. But he tends to be frugal. Frugal. He's a frugal sucker, which means he's a tightwad. Uh, he understands we got deals, so we got to say who we like. Um, but he wants to know what we would absolutely spend the extra money on without hesitation when it comes to hunting gear. Guns and ammo. Mm. Guns and ammo. That's right. The two things that connect you to the animal. Spend your money there. Yep. And waiters. Save everywhere else. You can, I mean, waiters now with all the return policies, you can get a hundred and fifty dollar pair from Academy, wear them for three months, take them back, and get a new pair. Essentially, I mean, if they leak or something like, I mean, that that the waiter business is a terrible one to be in. Need a good cap, <laughs> a hat? premium cap. He says, mm, premium hat. Duckcommander dot coms. But that's me. If you're and hunting in the South, you don't really need technical clothing. You can get away with, you know, a basic jacket. If it does get cold, wear you some good base layers. Spend some money on some base layers, but good bag. You need a good bag <laughs> for all hey, your groceries. Yeah, put your groceries in. Good boots and your extra shotgun shells. But guns and ammo, hundred percent. That's where I'm spending my premium. Thermo sale. That's where he's premium. Yeah. Same way with like bows, arrows, broadheads, whatever connects me to who I'm after. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm gonna spend my money. I'll make do with the rest of it. Range finder. <laughs> I was just listening. To well, no, it just that, yeah, it just keeps going on and on and on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's an expensive. Depend habit. depending on how technical you want to get in this sport. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but. Hey, that's, well, where, that's I'm a, where I spend my money. I'm going to keep it in the hunting world. Sound good? Yeah. Jos- Josiah emails in. Josiah. From Tobaccoville, Kentucky. North Carolina. Oh, Ooh, I was going to say Kentucky. Yeah. Same and way. he has a question, but he also sent in a trail cam picture. Uh-oh. Hey. Uh-oh. Dum, dum, dum. Boom. Wow. It's a house cat. Yeah. Sai so says, don't you believe in baby panthers? That, yeah, but their it. mom's never around. It's wild. Yeah. Whoa. That's a good mm. point. <laughs> it is wild. Yeah, Josiah, hey, that's, as, as a black panther believer myself, I've seen them in zoos, I've yeah. seen them on Arkansas Road, that's a cat, bro. Yeah, if you want to catch mm. that one, you just go, meow. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds something like, here, kitty, kitty. Sai, you got anything? No, nope, it's just a black cat. No. That's just a skinny bear. That's just a black and, and, they, and they small one. Anyway, what was his question? Yeah, that's, well. That's just sweet pee out for a stroll. I was going to just give him a chance. Wasn't yeah. big enough. Yeah, just, 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 Wasn't could big have been a black panther. Pee. I didn't think so either. All right, so he's a new duck hunter. What is your advice for someone who has never duck hunted before but really wants to? He has no calls, no decoys, and he doesn't even know where to go. What are the steps to start? Completely from scratch. Save your money. Go with an outfitter. Yep. Your first couple of times. Yep. Don't try to do it yourself. Go watch other people do it. And then figure out, is this this for me? You may not like it. That way way it'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, because if you try it alone... You know, you'll get discouraged because find somebody. And guess what? If you go buy all the stuff that you say you're missing, you're going to spend more than a guided hunt would cost you. And they already have all that stuff. Yep. They've already got the the goods. And you probably don't know how to blow a duck call. Yep. So going with somebody that does. And the same deal, though. But if you, this gives you a chance to figure out if you like it or not. You may hate it. There's only a million of us. Boy, if I cooking that blind. I mean, that's that's, that's how many duck key. stamps are sold. One million a year. One one point one. Not many. In fact, like two years ago, it was down to like eight hundred thousand. So it's not a lot of people doing it. So that tells you, right there, it ain't for everybody. There's something like twenty million deer hunters and like yeah. seventy million fishermen or something like that. So, like. It may not be for you, so save your money, go do it, and then if you like it, then start trying to figure out 
how to do it. Oh, but, we uh, don't like it. As someone who can attest to not really, not, like I started working here and I was like, I'm going to go duck up with my friends. That wasn't fun because we were just, we didn't know what we were doing. We The one time we had Mallards land in the decoys, a game warden showed up and I was very upset. Because I was like, bro, this is like we've been at, we've been trying for a week, and you just we, I'm handing you things, and we finally had a chance. But you know, it was fun. First time I went with Sai. First yeah. time I went with Martin. So that's we figured it out. Well, y'all know how to do it. Y'all are way better than me at it. So even if you don't have an outfitter, but you have a yeah, friend or a buddy that does it, go like, just go with somebody, yeah. like and be there a sponge. Go. Don't that's what you need. Don't go buy your duck call because you go duck hunting. Like it don't matter. You're you're doing more harm than you are good. So yeah, most of them are not gonna let you blow the duck. Call sit there, anyway. turn your hat around, and hold on. And yeah. See, that's to, what I said. You got to have a good hat. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you got one job. If a bunch of ducks comes in, you need to kill this many. One. One. Just one. And if everybody will kill one, we're good. Don't start picking out all three of them. Start with that many. The closest one to you, right in front of you. Don't go this way. Don't go that way. Right here. And you'll have fun. You should have fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy the snot out of it. That's why I've been five days in a row now. So He's Going back tomorrow. I, I don't know. I may take a day off. This one's pretty tough. I'm actually going to leave my man's name out of it. We're just going to call him Junior. Um, he needs some advice uh, uh, about his family and the Lord. So he's been with his girlfriend for about two years. They're super close. He's bought a ring. a boy. About to get engaged. Good awesome. for him. Uh, Congrats. But he's put it on hold. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Because his sister-in-law has told him that God spoke to her and that he, that God said... That he shouldn't marry this girl. Hmm. And now he has no clue what to do. Because that's kind of weird to say. That is weird to say. Um, And I believe that, you know, God puts things in our heart that we think about. And I've, I've had something hit me from out of nowhere. And I 100% believe it was the Holy Spirit. Now, I hadn't heard any audible voices. I know some people that said I have. I'm not going to discredit them, but... This one's a weird one. Martin? <laughs> Martin? <laughs> Why me? I he's, told you it was tough. Up. He's backing up. And I did clear this one before we aired it. Before I, well, the, before I asked. In the Bible. I found, in, in my past, I found when God's talking to me, he's talking to me. He should talk to me. He ain't using a liaison to get to me. Because he's, he's jerked me by the collar of my shirt before. I mean, I truly believe, like you said, the Holy Spirit. And, and um, you know, and, and kind of slap you around and say, hey, idiot, you know, get, you, get your head right. But I, I haven't, I don't know, I haven't had somebody say, I had this, God spoke to me about you. And I, I've always found he likes to communicate pretty direct. Um <laughs> That's just me. Well, um, well, that's me. The thing, the thing about it is, I think it's a sister-in-law. Okay, God talked to the sister-in-law. Well, hey, you're not marrying your sister-in-law. Yeah, she's already okay. married. She's already married. <laughs> In law. Okay, and if you know, if God may have spoke to her, that I don't know. But this is going to be up to you. You're going to have to live with this woman. Yeah, if you've been with her for two years. Yeah, if you've been with her for I'm... two years, I figure you probably know this lady pretty well. Mm-hmm. Okay, you actually went and bought a ring, okay? So I know what's in your head. You're ready to make this, uh, you're ready to make a, a commitment to what you've got. You know, I would say, hey, go ahead. Okay, because this secondhand stuff, okay, you know, like in my humble opinion, God talks directly to you. Yeah. He don't, he don't, he's already talked to us to the person that we, you know, he's talked to us because in the Bible he even says it. In, in the earlier days, God talked to everyone through the prophets. But in these last days, he's talked to us through the Son. Okay. 
So, hey, I, I, I'm just going to move with, okay, you know, if when he talks to me, then I might listen. But somebody outside, because all this is is your daughter or sister-in-law may have a dislike for this woman. Okay, and that's her opinion. I, I would you know. just pray to make it obvious what I should do. Yeah. Yeah. Because I prayed that prayer one time, and it was obvious. Mm-hmm. And so I suggest just say, "Hey, make show it to me." Yeah, I, I preach to that, and then go ask but, three but, or four friends. But when, but, confirm it. but when he does show it to you, have your eyes open. Yep. Don't don't say it, but that ain't what I wanted to hear. <laughs> That's well, the hard you part already, about that. I will end it with this: you already know, okay, that it's does. got to be God's way. Because you're saying, okay, look, I want to commit to this woman. I want to put a, a, a ring on her finger. I want her to have my name. I want her to be mine under the marriage, under the covenant of marriage, which is God's way. Yeah. There you go. There you go. You want a Bible verse to yeah, go along send, with it? Send us out. Romans 12, 2. I'm sure I've used this one probably five times, but it's one of my favorite verses in the whole Bible. Do not confirm. Conf, it's one of my favorite verses. I don't know the word. <laughs> Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And this is the part I want you to listen to, my man. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good pleasing and, and perfect, perfect will. will so the key word there the last one perfect so yep. if you ask him better and good you got to get on the same page as him and then you will know what his will is for your life yeah. amen and I, then it I ain't gotta, gonna be easy and you gotta keep rocking i got a t-shirt that says god's plan not mine amen so right. good luck figuring that out buddy we're rooting for you yeah we're rooting for you yeah let us know what you come up with all right, we'll see y'all next time. I'm right here in the duck curious. Right. Right. Adios, amigos. Bye. Bye. Adios. Vamanos. Vaya con Dios, my friend.